John Breithaupt lives in the Pacific Northwest, where he surveys land and negotiates timber contracts. For a decade, he was the picture of success. I had a six-figure job with a car and a company credit card and a 401k and a retirement plan. I had a 36-foot boat that I could moor at the marina 10 minutes from my house. Then in 2008, the market crashed. John lost his job and his medical benefits. Around the same time, he was also diagnosed with cancer. This one's always tough to talk about. You know, what do you do when your doctor says you have a tumor, you need radiation, you need chemotherapy, you, you do it. Over the next few years, John sold his assets, exhausted his savings, and cashed in his 401k in an effort to make ends meet and pay his medical bills. At times, they went to collection, so it hurt my credit. I was going to be without anything. Losing my car, losing my insurance, losing my cell phone, it's not a good feeling. Sporadic work and multiple tumors followed. Then at 52, John moved home with his mother. That's tough for a man to do, to ask for help, say, I can't do it. Pretty tough for a self-sustaining man. Um, it's sort of an all-time low. That's when I turned back to God. I said, okay, God, I'll, I'll trust in you. You help me get out of these circumstances. John had just under $300 when he says his prayer was answered. He was watching the 700 Club. Terry talked about giving $20, and, and, and I've always been touched by the stories that the 700 Club do. And the thought that went through my head was, what's $20? I, I think the Holy Spirit just prompted me to give that. And I'd never given to a, a TV ministry before. John called CBN and pledged $20 a month. Within two weeks, he had four clients and was back in the timber consulting business, working as an independent contractor. The light went off on my head. I thought the only thing that has changed between now and then is that I started giving to the 700 Club and it brought tears to my eyes. And I stopped and I pulled over and I called the 700 Club and I said, I wanna raise my gift from 20 to 100. John also started tithing to his church. Now he has consistent work, a flexible schedule, and he's able to pay all his medical bills. My finances have recovered. I have more consulting work than I know what to do with right now. I'm able to put back into savings, put back into my 401k. I don't think there's any way that that could be a, a coincidence. John challenges others who need a financial turnaround to start giving to CBN. It's a great ministry. It's a great ministry. You say, look, we're tight. We can't squeeze another $100 out. Then give 50, give 40, give $20. I don't believe in giving to get. That's not my motivation, but I gave a little bit and God blessed a lot.